Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Suresh from Israel Automation Channel. Today in this video, I am going to explain you about how to retry failed test cases using the testng xml file. In the previous session, we have seen how to implement using the i retry analyzer and today in this session, we will see how we can do it using an xml file. So let's get started. Let me open my Eclipse IDE and I am taking one of my testng project and this is my testng project designed in a maven approach and in source test java I have a couple of packages and in the pom.xml I have testng selenium and web driver manager and in the source test java I will create a new package or a class with the package so this package is retry with xml so this is my package and i will say test cases execution right so i will create this and simply add couple of before test after test and we need a test some couple of test cases so i will quickly add the body of it Alright, I have added all the methods implementations here. So I wanted to achieve a test scenario concept here. So I will be having a before test, after test, and under that I will be having couple of test cases. So whenever we run this test cases, this will update into my XML file. So I will show you in the next minute how it is going to be updated in the XML file. How can I run the only failed test cases from that xml file now i will create a web driver instance let me import this web driver and as i am using the web driver api manager it's simple to call all the uh, web driver So I can simply call whichever browser I wanted to execute. I can simply call them. I no need to create subset properties and all these things. I can simply call the Chrome driver dot setup. And next using a driver instance, driver equal to new Chrome, new Chrome driver and after that driver dot get so i wanted to get a url so what's my application url uh, for now i'm using generic google search right so this is my before test and what should be in the after test after test it should be driver dot close or i can use driver dot quit as well so in a test cases what i need to perform so in the first test case i wanted to verify what's the title is to verify title i can simply use a string here string title equal to driver dot get title and i need to verify this as set asset equal so under asset equal i need to call this title as an expected and what should be an actual so my actual value should be google let's say let me give it in lowercase so that in this case will get failed and next i wanted to search something on my google page so what i should do so this is a google page i wanted to search here something that should be of type name so i can simply take name for that driver dot find element by dot name and under that name i can provide this name 
and I can send something send as so this string I wanted to send and after that I need to click on this Google search button so here also I have a name driver dot find element by dot name dot this button right so I need to use click and in the last case just I wanted to do an assert and assert I would expect false so this means this test case by default will get failed so here I have two cases one is on first case is getting failed and second is getting passed and third test case is getting failed so I will quickly save now I am running from here as a test ng test and let's wait for how many test cases getting passed how many test cases are getting failed right it has done execution now we can see it has executed three test cases and three failures and out of which no pass and and no fail uh, there are three failures because we are using assert right we are using hard assertion so that this case will not be passed to the next test case so i will quickly save this so that this test case getting passed because i am using the hard assertion i will quickly execute once again right so now i can see i see one test case is getting passed and two test cases are getting failed and now we can see the results as well here assertion failure and one is because of uh, some uh, response time or maybe an x path issue now these are like three test cases now executed right so i wanted to see the xml file the failed xml file where it got updated simply go to your project repo and right click and refresh after that you need to go to test outputs here in the test ng project you will get a test output in case if you are executing for the first time don't worry after you execute your test cases then it will update in the test output folders and under test output folders you will see here test ng failed xml so this is a failed xml you can try this failed xml now you can see here in that failed xml it has updated after test before test and you have a test case 3 test case 2 and we have executed right these test cases so we have one test case test case 2 test case 3 but test case 1 is missing here because that test case is passed and remaining test case are failed so now what I wanted to do, I wanted to rerun this failed test case only, not the whichever test case is passed, I don't want to execute that, I wanted to execute only the failed test cases and this is the important point in interviews as well, how you run only failed test cases, then you can say this is the approach to execute the only failed test cases to re-verify the bug fix from the developers. So whenever any developer fix any bug as part of automation run you have reported one issue where it is failing and you wanted to run those test cases to verify only the bug fix then you can run this test cases and simply go to this testng.xml and right click and run as testng suit now this time it will open the browser and it is verifying let's see how many test cases are getting passed and failed again again there is a two test cases failure and let me again refresh the screen refresh my project again close this xml file and try to reopen or i can do one thing i can put some waiting time here i'll give a thread sleep hard coded thread dot sleep and it expects the exceptions let me declare those exceptions right 
now i wanted to rerun my failed test cases again and let me quickly run test in the suit i think uh, i need to do some correction in my test scripts but however this is getting executed my test failed test cases right so this is the approach that you can implement in your project whenever there is any bug fix or whenever you wanted to perform any bug related retesting then this is the best approach from the automation so this is also a retesting concept this is also a bug retesting concept and this is how we implement only failed test case execution i hope this session is useful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel in case this session is helpful for you do post a like and do share with your colleagues and friend Thank you for watching.